Konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist. Today I have a very special guest. I'll be interviewing Stacy Connor. She's one of the top producing agents here in Las Vegas, and I'm really excited to share with you her story. Starting with Stacy's uh, bio, Stacy Connor was born and raised in the LA area where she worked as a surgical nurse at Cedar Sinai Hospital. During her marriage to a former player and assistant coach in the NBA, she began her 20-year journey tra uh, traversing? Uh, yeah, traversing. traversing her 20-year journey traversing the country in support of him and his career. Mm -hmm. Seven states later, Stacy has made Las Vegas her permanent residence. Because of her exposure to different cities throughout the U.S. and the unique life experiences she attained, Stacy adds value to clients relocating from out of state. Stacy understands the nuances of moving at a moment notice or when time is a non-issue. Stacy has been licensed for over six years and has focused her attention to the sports and entertainment clientele as she has amassed quite the clients client list that's creating the sports and entertainment division, the first of its kind at Windmere Prestige Properties where she is the director. Mm -hmm. To best service her clients, Stacy regularly attends classes to keep her on top of the latest real estate trends and tools which allows her clients to have access to the latest technology and ensures that the client's needs are met, resulting in maximum support with a smooth transaction. When Stacy isn't working, she's the mother to twin daughters and appreciates conversational Spanish classes as well as listening to contemporary jazz and violin. An avid Schutzen, Schutzen fan, yes. Stacy can be found handing, handling her German Shepherd throughout the Las Vegas Valley. Yes. So welcome Stacy. Thank you. Yes, I'm really into the sport of Schutzen. Oh so wow. The protection dogs. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so I, uh, I'm quite the fan. That's amazing. So like when you see the police dogs yeah. out there doing their work, yeah. I love that. Oh so, my goodness. Um, just have always uh, appreciated what they do and the working dogs. Of so. course, of course. Well, that's a great fun fact about you. I didn't know. <laughs> fun fact, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> so, awesome. Stacy, we met at one of your listing showings. We did. And I just immediately connected Aww, with you. We did. You know, you're such a dynamic woman. Oh, thank you. You know, you just likewise. Thank you. You just won recently uh, top 25 women realtors in Las Vegas by yeah, the Women's Council. it was so crazy. Yeah. I, um, really, I didn't expect it. So um, when I saw the nomination come through, you know, top 25 women in real estate for Las Vegas, I thought to myself, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then um, to get the, first to get the nomination and then to be the recipient was right. really quite, right. um, was really quite the experience because I thought about the past year Yes. And I had no buyer agents, no assistant, no you know, no assistants running back and forth for me. Yes, um, it was all me during a pandemic, mm. you know, dissolution of a marriage. It right. was just it. It was a lot, yes. you know, to take on in my personal life yes. and then in my business. So it was. Um, I could not believe that I had produced what I had produced. I've done yes. over 20 million, That's 21 amazing. million wow. and by myself. Wow. Congratulations. Um, thank you. That's so amazing. it was, um, it gives me goosebumps now, yeah. <laughs> you know, because you really are just, you're working, 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 and you don't really take time to sit back and see what you've done right. until they present you with your numbers right. at the end of the year. And you're like, oh, wow. wow. Yeah. You know, I, wow. You know, absolutely. And as a busy, you know, woman to the twin, beautiful daughters you have, you know, as us moms, yes. you know, we've, we're pulled into so many directions all the time. We're multitasking. So I think it's really important for us women to stop yes. and acknowledge and be recognized Yes, because you deserved all of it, Stacy. Well, and it's so funny because I, I felt like, you know, why me? And then my girlfriends, I have a wonderful sphere of girlfriends, yes. you know, and including you yes. now. But it's like, why not me? That's right. what they said. Why right. not you? Why right. can't it be you? Right. And uh, I didn't really look at it like that. So yeah. I like to kind of fly under the radar and I just like to put my head down and just work, yes. work, work. Yes. And um, so, you know, hoping I'll have another really good year this year. Yeah. And I'm tracking um, pretty well this year. Awesome. But um, the market here is crazy. Yes. So, but where I'm lacking is balance. Yes. Um, I work so much that my, uh, my family life needs more, I need more balance right. and more boundaries and more structure there. Right. So 
Um, I'm trying to figure that out. Yes. So we I'm trying to learn how to shut my phone off. I don't yeah. know if you do that yeah, at night, I do. but I uh, do. oh my gosh, what's your secret? Yeah. How, how do you turn your phone off? Yeah. So you I know, don't know how to do this. So you'll have think, to teach me. Yeah. It's just managing a client expectations. Mm -hmm. And I think obviously it depends on, you know, the situation too. Obviously if it's an urgent matter mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed right away, of mm -hmm. course I'll take care of it. Yes. But around eight o'clock, you kind shut of off. silence my phone. You do. Spend more time with the girls. Yeah. And then and then and then obviously if I miss a call or if there's a text message from a client, I just let them know. I'll call you back tomorrow. You know, right. like you know, I'll I'll get back to you tomorrow. Right. And of course, a hundred percent of the time they're like, no worries. We'll talk to you tomorrow. I have very yeah. demanding clients, but yeah. I think I'm training them to be yes. demanding of my, time. <laughs> of my time. So I need to teach them yeah. that I need to have off time. Yes, yeah. I need to teach we them need boundaries. That. We so need that. I'm gonna I'm going to challenge myself this week. Awesome. Eight o'clock, I'm yep. going to turn my phone on silent. Yep. yep. I think that'll be great. I'm gonna try. Be great. I'll let you know yeah, how it goes. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> so so Stacy, you know, talk to us about just obviously you've been in the industry six years. You yes. know, um, you know, it's been a very unique year this past year, but just talk to us about your experience and then your focus obviously on the sports and entertainment clientele. I think that's very important to have such a focus like that, a niche market. Yes. And so well it started when I moved here. Yep. So we had an agent when I when we first moved here, um, and I noticed that he was um, I don't know how to say uh, he liked to handle sports people, right? But he also, um, I didn't think he handled them well. Okay. So I thought, how could I do that better, mm -hmm. and how could I better service yes. the people that I'm familiar with? Right. And um, you know, he did some things that I didn't really appreciate, and I didn't appreciate how he handled me in particular. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'm a sports person's wife. I've been a sports person's wife for a long time, right. so I, I know I'm very familiar with the lifestyle and yeah. the needs of uh, particularly people in the NBA right. because that's what my um, yes. husband did. So I um, was very familiar with the lifestyle, their schedule, and how they do things. So I thought, well, why not? Why not do this? Yes. How could I service them better and give them, you know? Um, a, an agent that actually understood right. and had a sneak peek into their 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 life. So a lot of my clients are are professional athletes, and it just makes it seamless because I offer more of a concierge style yes. of a of a realtor than yes. realtor yes. rather than um, just your average realtor. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have everybody on on speed dial to whatever they need, soup right. to nuts, we take care of it. That's amazing. So I love um, that. it makes it easy for them. Yes. So it's kind of a one-stop shop yes. with them. Yes. Um, it's not proprietary to me. Right. Anybody could do it. Right. But I think having those relationships with other vendors yes. definitely support that because their needs, yes, they're the same as any other person, right. but they want it yesterday. Of course. So um, the sports clientele does not like to wait. Yes. They want things executed quickly and yes. you have to have a team behind you right. that can execute those requests yes. um, expeditiously. And fortunately, I think that we have that down now. That's amazing. So we have a team of people that do execute things right. pretty pretty quickly. Right, and I love that, you know, the soup to nuts, the concierge, you know, experiences that you bring to the table. I do that too with my yes. clients, with my experience yes. owning and operating electric concierge services. I know, services I love that. I can't wait years. to pick your brain on yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. I want to do yeah. more. Yeah, and I think it's so more. important. Um, yes. I know like for example, um, I have clients coming in town this weekend yes. um, and super excited because we're going to show a house with you. Yes. Sorry we can't let you in on that one, but um, <laughs> um, I'm having a, a chef here in town that I really adore and Wonderful. he makes these beautiful charcuterie um, boxes, yes. box lunch. So. I will provide that for my clients when yeah. we're in the car driving so that they're not hungry. Yes. And it doesn't take time away from the showing, but it right. also gives them a very nice experience Absolutely. too. Absolutely. So you have this beautiful chef crafted lunch box, right. if you will, right. with fabulous champagne in the car yeah. or whatever beverages that they like because yeah. they can be drinking while I'm driving right. or we hire drivers Correct. and you know we give them those experiences yes. as well. So thank you for that referral yeah, too. I'm the driver. Absolutely. But um, I think that with um, every client, yes. we make them feel like they are an A-list mm -hmm. person. Yes. Whether it's your $100,000 buyer or your you know, $20 million right. buyer, I really do my best to try to treat everybody the same. I love that. Um, and just give them all exceptional service mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, they're, they're really buying you. Right, correct. You know, you, they really want you. Yes. Um, so I think, I think that's really important mm -hmm. just to be yourself through yes. 
every transaction. hundred yeah. percent. And I love that. And then, you know, that's how you connect with the clients. You know, you provide them the excellent, you mm -hmm. know, white glove services. Yes, exactly. And then That's they'll continue to refer you business. They sure will. Because they trust you. Yeah, they trust you. And they see how you do things from the beginning of the transaction to the end of the transaction. Mm -hmm. But the sports clientele is, is uh, it's difficult. Yeah. You know, I would be uh, remiss if I didn't say that it, that it wasn't, you right. know. Right, right. Um, the reality is there's a lot of agents out here that you know, say that they're, you know, they handle all, all of the sports people right. in town and no one agent handles all of them. Correct. There's too many. Right. There's plenty for everybody out right. here. Right. I'm never going to try to go yeah. after anybody else's client. If somebody else is working with somebody, I usually, you know, okay, great. Yep. You know, and we're going to lose clients to each other. Right. You know, right. somebody may come to me, then they may end up with you right. and, and vice versa. Right. And, um, you know, in those, in those scenarios, I would love it if the agent working with the client that maybe you lose, right. that they contact you right. and say, "Hey, wh what happened, or mm -hmm. what can I do better?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, because yeah. that's how I—that's my approach. Right. Um, I would call and say, "You know, what can I do for you? What, what, what did I do better? This is what I've already shown. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to help out." Yep. But a lot of people, you know, it's it's more of a shark yes. business yes. that we're in. Absolutely. Um, but you know. I think that's why you and I get along so yeah, well because yeah. we're very willing to um, help each other and out. And they communicate and transparency. And absolutely, 100%. Yeah. I think it's very important. Yeah, and I do want to mention because we're obviously in a seller's market, mm -hmm. the importance of relationships yes. and networking. Yes. Talk to us about that. So, um, well, I have a couple of, I had a couple of pocket listings. I have one now and you've had some pocket listings and yes. I think that having relationships like this, it's very, it's, it's nice because we trust each other. Right. We know the transaction is going to go extremely smooth right. but also I can call you and say hey my seller really doesn't want to be on MLS right. for you know XYZ reason um, do you have a buyer this is what I have happy right. to show it to you privately right. and a lot of times um, homes do get sold that way right. without even hitting the open market yes. so um, you know you've had a couple that I've seen I have one now that I'm trying to um, you know, unload for my clients so that yes. they can move on. Yes. And I think that that works out very nicely because Absolutely. it gives the seller the privacy that they desire, but also we can have the flexibility of showing right. kind of under uh, smoke and mirror, if you will. Yeah, I love that. You know, yeah. not that it's illegal because it's, let me disclose that, it's yeah. not an illegal practice. Uh -huh. We have forms that we fill out right. that remove um, listings from the MLS right. in a legal way. They can yep. be an office exclusive, so I let me say that. <laughs> but um, we do have office exclusives right. that are, you know, that are in that little like yes. pocket listing. If I love you will. that. I love so that. I think relationships with other agents are very important. Yes. So very important. Yes. Yeah. And then Stacy, you know, talk to us about like the luxury rental market. You know, you're you're the expertise Crazy. in that. Crazy. And I love I love for our audience to kind of understand the kind of like the different sporting events we have in Vegas, like the Summer League coming up. Summer League is coming up. Yeah. And um, so if you are an investor or if you um, are looking at investment property, I would um, caution you on the Airbnb. Everybody always calls me for Airbnb. Yes. Um, they always want to buy an Airbnb and they want to, uh, you know, I want an Airbnb and they think it's just so quick and easy and so fast and uh, get rich quick. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't particularly find that to be true. Um, there are rules and regulations um, around Airbnb. Yes. I think the best practice would be to purchase a property, a home, a single family residence with a pool, furnish it, I mean, make it lovely, yep. not cheapy furniture, because right. number one, if, you, if we put athletes in those homes, they're gonna break the furniture. These are not normal sized people. Yep. Um, they're going to have parties. Yes. Um, they're, going to, they're going to want to invite their friends over and enjoy right. um, the luxuries of, of the home. And if it's a higher end home, a million and up, or eight, let's say 600,000 and up. Yeah. Um, they want to be in something that they are accustomed to being in. Right. And you can really maximize the dollar. Um, I have uh, personally leased out several um, high end homes yes. um, in, a, in a country club community here that have done very well for my client. Um, and um, they furnish it beautifully. Right. And I have suggested them we need to have, you know, dishes, uh, right. pots, pans, every linens, yeah. um, pool towels, pool equipment, pool blow up the floaties. Yeah, everything. You know, have everything that their hearts desire so that they don't have to ask for anything. But it creates such a nice experience for them yes. that they'll want to come back to your property. But also, because of the market that we're in, you really can kind of 
max out yep. that price point exactly. for your seller, for your owner, for your landlord. Yes. And the client gets a really good experience because especially if they're coming from New York, LA, other markets where rent is just exorbitant, right. they really do feel like they're getting a better value here. Yes. So. Um, that's the route I've seen yes. a lot of my clients are, are taking. Yes. I actually have a couple of players now, NFL players that are looking at houses to purchase yes. just to do that, yep. to have a rental property because they know we have people coming and going. So we right. have aviators here, we have yes. the soccer team here, we have football, we have Raider, our Raiders. Um, I have quite a few clients on that team, yes. um, wonderful uh, guys to work with. Yes. We have the Las Vegas Aces, Aces, who I work with a lot of the ladies on that team. Yes. Um, you know, and they're coming and going, so they're always in transition. So right. when the football guys are here, the ladies are not. So when the ladies come back to play, you know, and then I hear we're getting an NBA team soon. Yes. So that's going to be oh awesome. Oh my gosh. So very exciting. Comment below if you're excited and you want an NBA team in yes, Las Vegas. Yes, we, we want an NBA <laughs> team here in Las Vegas. We do, we do. Yeah, and we already have an arena slated right yes. across the street from Sky Las Vegas. Yes. Where we have a lot of developer units yes. right by the Resorts World that just opened. Perfect. So. So that could be, be the great. team hotel. The Resorts yeah. World yeah. very well could be the team hotel. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know what their plan is, but um, oh my goodness, you know, there'll be a lot of activity, a lot of movement. A yes. lot of the athletes like to be here because we don't have any state tax. Yes. So um, that helps them out, you know, tremendously. So whether this ends up being their primary resident, right, or or not, yep. Um, you know, it does help with taxes. I will say personally, because being married to somebody in the NBA uh, for as long as I, I have been. We pay taxes in every state. People don't take that into consideration. Wow. They think, oh, we just pay taxes here. Oh, you pay wow. in every state that they play in. Wow. So consider that. Yeah. So if you have this as your primary residence, right. you're going to really make, um, you know, you're going to have a, a nice savings. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that that's appealing yes. to professional athletes. I'm sure football is the same. Every state that they play in, they're yes. taxed. Yes. So, um, kind of nice to have this as a as That's a amazing. buffer or shelter if you will. Yeah, and I love the schedule and how like, you know, the different groups transition in and out Well, they do. The so you can have um, I think you can have if you will a, a revolving door yes. at your property as long as the CCNRs say, you know, that you can have right. a 6 month, 1 month, 3 month, you know, year lease. lease. And you can construct it that way. Yeah. Also, uh, just another tip. I will put in my leases an exit clause for um, my athletes okay if they have to leave early if right. they get hurt if something yep. happens to right. them right. between them and the landlord there is kind of like an out clause got it so that they know you know if I get hurt or if I get you know hey guys get fired you know yeah I mean you get traded you right. get waived right. that means you're out of a job gotcha. and you have to go look for another one so should that happen I like to have that written into the uh, rental okay. agreement so that you know it's going to be a financial um, liability for right, them. Right. Of course, they're going to have to pay the owner yes. um, maybe a month or two months rent to get out of it. Right, right. But at least there is that assurance that they can terminate the lease early if they have to. Got it. Wow. So it, it kind of protects the seller and it also kind of protects the tenant mm -hmm. or landlord rather. Yeah. And it kind of protects the tenant. I love that. Um, but it, it kind of, as long as they're agreeable to yes. it, yes. Um, I think it kind of makes them both feel like, okay, I'm getting something for giving something. Mm -hmm. So they don't sense. feel like they're being taken advantage of. Yeah. So I like to try to put that in there to, co to construct it that way. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm learning so much about your clients and, uh, you know, just the, the nature of the business. It's crazy. Um, Stacy, what kind of recommendations do you have for, you know, like the newer agents coming in, you know, especially female realtors, maybe their moms, like, you know, mothers like us. What kind of you know, suggestions or recommendations do you have? I would suggest that you try to partner up with a seasoned agent or pick their brain. Take yep. them to lunch. Yep. Um, I know I just added a young lady to my team and um, a, a young man to my team yes. that we're, we're you know, trying to develop and build over at Windermere. But um, I think it's important. I did not do that. I, well, I tried to do it, just it kind of didn't work out six years yeah. ago. I think. Um, I think sometimes some people think that you're trying to come after their business right. or maybe you have ill intention. Um, I think that if you see that somebody is hungry and really wants to be really good mm -hmm. in the business and do good business, right. I think it's worth it for, for whomever to take time with that person. Yep. Even if it's a ride along, yep. even if it's showing them how to 
you know, what to do differently in a contract. Right. But I think for the new agents, ask questions. Yeah, yeah. Ask questions. A closed mouth does not get fed. Right. So if you don't put yourself out there to yep. ask anybody mm -hmm. anything, you're not going to find out. Yeah. Take initiative. Yeah. You're going to make a mistake. You are. Yeah. And it's okay as right. long as it's not catastrophic. Right. Communicate. Mm -hmm. You know, that's another one. Communicate. But um, as we were talking earlier, I think something I would teach the younger agents that I have under me now yes. is time blocking for self. Mm -hmm. I never take time out of my day. I don't even take time to eat. I literally will stand or I'll eat in my car. Yeah. I need to start taking out like an hour right. just to sit and have lunch or for, you, for, or, for me. I need, I need to start doing that. Yeah. My broker is very good at doing that nice. and I really have admiration for her. Yeah. She and her husband, they always leave the office. Yep. They have a set time where they go away. Yep. They have a nice lunch and yep. they come back. Nice. And it kind of resets the day. Right. So I, I see how when she comes back, she's ready for the afternoon. Yeah. I love so that. again, like just to recap what I just said, yeah. I would say communicate, yep. take some initiative, yep. time block for your for self. Um, I would also time block for my business. I am mm -hmm. an early riser. I get up at five, so when I get up, I start my I start looking at my emails, right. what calls I have to make because right. I have clients all over. So yep. my East Coast clients are they're ready to go. Right. But um, um, that's what I would Great. recommend. Great. Ask people to go out with them. Hey, yeah. can I take a ride with you? Yep. You know, can I go see this? Can mm -hmm. I go see that? Yep. Yep. You know, do you mind if I tag along? Yep. They're never going to learn how to get into a guard gated community and right. what to say if they right. don't see it. Exactly. And some people are visual learners. Right. So I think sometimes you have to listen to people mm -hmm. how they're talking on the phone. Exactly. I've started doing that with one of the young men, Matthew, in my yeah. office. Yeah. I just have him, I'll have him just sit next to me when I'm talking to a player's financial team. Right. Sit here, listen to how, listen to how this conversation mm -hmm. is going. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they're, the younger agents are so nervous, they'll just say whatever. Right. And you're like, oh, don't yeah. say that. <laughs> don't ever say that yep. again. Yep. You know, but um, I think it's coaching. Right. And be coachable. Coachable. You don't know everything. Right. right. I don't know everything. Yep. There's people that have been in the business probably 40, 50 years. They don't know everything. Right. But I think if you go into it with that, just be eager to learn, yes. willing to learn. I love that. And also be willing to fail. Yeah. Failure is, is it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to fail. Yeah. You don't, you either win or you learn. Mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela said that. Right. So that's what it is. I you love that. You either win or you learn. Yeah. You know, but failing is, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's what I, would say. I love that. That's so inspiring, Stacey. Oh. Yeah. Well, you inspire me. Thank you. So I want to pick your brain. I want to get all in there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. It's my pleasure. Yeah, any other last remarks, Stacey? Is there anything else you want to share? Just then you maybe... Come see us come see in us. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for you, whatever you guys need. Absolutely. We work and together all the time. Yes. So we can tag team it. Absolutely. <laughs> Even and though we're competitors, we are friends. Yes. And it's friendly competition. Yes, I love that. And again, you want to work with people you like to do business with, right? I do. I do. And you you have that relationship or you have that connection. Yes. And that's what 100%. it's all about. A hundred percent. That's why I love They're very about. important. Mm -hmm. And I love your broker. Yes. Such a classy man. Yes. Shout out to Randy Char. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, homie. <laughs> awesome, Stacy. Well, thank you so much for your time it's today. My pleasure. Anytime. I, I just love engaging with you and Likewise. any opportunity to obviously do business together or just even catch up over lunch. I love that. We will do that. I'm always learning from you. So again, thank you for inspiring. Likewise. You know, the newer agents like myself and, uh, you know. Well, you don't appear to be a newer agent thank at all, you. I must say. You've, you have the feel like you've been doing this a really long time. Thank you. you are a natural at this. Thank you. Thank so you. it's very refreshing to awesome. see. It's it's wonderful. Thank really you. Really wonderful. So All right. you just keep pushing forward. I will. And I'm here for you whatever you need. Thank you, Stacey. You're welcome. Awesome. Well, You're cheers welcome. to that. Yes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our conversation. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Love to hear from you. If you have any questions for Stacy, comment below. She will engage with you as well. And again, Happy thank you so much. Happy to answer anything. Yes. yes. Send all the questions. Yeah. And please, if you have any interest. Yes. And I guess we talked about luxury rentals yes. in this video. I think there's a huge opportunity for that. There is. I actually just checked and pulled what's available in Southern nothing. Highlands and there's nothing. Nothing. There's, there's absolutely nothing available. Nothing. So yeah. um, if anybody out there has a property. Oh, that too. <laughs> I am that in need. Too. I have three clients that are looking uh, for uh, single family residences in Las Vegas, large 
homes with pools and uh, they are willing to pay mm -hmm. top dollar uh, one to three months. Awesome. Um, I mean, people are ready to yep. put down some serious cash. Right. Um, and they're willing to pay it up front. So um, that's always if, great. If you know anybody, if anybody's out there, yes. um, that, Let us know. Uh, that has something uh, special, um, yes. I, I do have three clients that we, we're ready to go. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, Ready. everyone. This is the hot market in Las Vegas. So if you're you know buying, selling, let us know. Comment below. And again, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you at the next one. And how do you say bye in Japanese? Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs>